Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today, towards the end of the year, we are talking about some equipment I have been selling and or want to sell. No, I am not getting out of mining, but change is the path life takes and this is especially true for crypto mining. So first of all, let's talk about the machine I have been repeating myself a lot about in the past, the Z9 Mini. Man, it has given me a lot of content. The most viewed video on this channel is actually about the little thing. But well, I've lost trust in most of the Equiage projects I've been mining to be honest. Some real talk here. For example, I have never liked the founder rewards in Zcash. But uh, FOMO, fear of missing out, brought me to still wanting to have a stake in that. As I thought, it's also interesting to watch the corporate approach to crypto. But I have to say I've since sold all my ZEC into Bitcoin in recent roller coaster times. My Zen, so Horizon, I've been mining, well, these should have opened the path to showing you guys node systems like secure nodes, but if you remember, unfortunately these were stolen with the hack. So on paper, the Z9 Mini did actually positively return its investment, at least in Bitcoin numbers, but thanks to the hack and ZEC underperforming, well, no regrets here, but still, I wanted to talk about these sites of mining as well. So the little thing will probably soon go. Prices looked at used are meh. But well, one strategy would either be to turn it off and wait for a possible hype to sell it then for more profit or say screw it, put it up for sale right now and just let it run until it sells. How would you guys approach that? I've done both in the past. To mix things up, let's talk about GPUs next. Here, some have already left the building. If you follow the channel, you know that I often give away GPUs of mine when I do full PC builds. So that is where some of my 1060s went for example. Same counts for most RX GPUs from the mixed AMD rig. Some cards like RX 580 gone in builds, which will be upcoming to the channel shortly. Some I use myself, like you saw in the do-it-yourself Chinese open air frame video. Also I am sure many of you also know the feeling of piling up surplus parts with mining. It is nice to have spare parts, but as an old used steel hunter, I realized I sometimes went a bit overboard. But I have an idea how I could consolidate parts in an interesting way which I want to put in a dedicated video. So I've never asked for that but please ring the bell to get notified about new videos. Besides that, nothing really I want to sell. I'll keep on GPU mining and we'll talk about that in a second. But besides the FPGA ASIC wise only the Baikal and the L3 Plus are left. The Baikal well on paper it also loses money right now. But honestly it has been profitable for so long I just can't part from it. Also it seems that the whole company Baikal Miner has disappeared with the homepage being offline for ages now. So hey I thought why not keep on to it a little piece of mining history. The L3 Plus has been standing here collecting dust for some time as I told you. It will move to a privately hosted location where it can spend the rest of its life. The only problem was or is that this requires me to do a Germany trip to a dear friend of mine. But unfortunately we just never made it happen until now. So even though we talked a lot about selling stuff and reasons for doing so in this video, you know that I will never quit mining as it has become a big part of my life. It is normal that a mining operation, especially a small one adapted to living in a house, always changes. I want to do much more optimization throughout the house as well, but again these are topics for another day. But while we are at it, let's talk about where I would actually like to add things. And video wise I don't want to downsize, rather wanted to add some 1660s, normal or super, but since I was traveling I missed all the Black Friday and Cyber Monday madness. So I'm just on the lookout for deals as I'll keep one rig on ion any time of the day. Also besides other upcoming builds like PCs or mining space heaters, I'm planning my very own workstation upgrades, so stay tuned for that. 
ASIC wise, well honestly, besides the FPGA variations coming out by different companies at the moment, only Bitcoin mining would really interest me in the ASIC sphere at the moment. So that's already it. I'm trying to clean up a lot since I returned home and also I realized that I seldomly talk about the downsizing or changing equipment aspects of mining. So I wanted to do a video like that. How has your folks mining operation changed in the previous month? Did you change a lot or downsize? I can tell you that behind the scenes I don't know where to start build and content wise. So that is a good thing. Also as winter is approaching or is already here, I just came from shoveling. I'm just motivated to build space heaters. Thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in. Please subscribe for weekly tech and mining content. I wish all the best to each and every one of you. Happy mining and bye!